Hey guys, my name is Ayush. You're watching that tech, and today in the second episode of Tech Discussion, we are going to discuss about the new OnePlus Nord. So let's quickly begin. So after riding a huge marketing wave of hype by the company itself, the Nord is finally out now. It was launched in an AR event, which, if you want to experience it, you can download the Nord AR application on your iOS or Android device, and you can enjoy it. Now coming back to the device, the device will be competing with the mid-tier smartphone segment with an aggressive pricing of Rs. 24,999, providing some flagship level of Android experience just like its 8 series siblings. The Nord doesn't deviate too far from OnePlus' successful formula of packing in all the essential features that one can expect from a OnePlus phone like Super AMOLED display or uh, multiple cameras or a bigger battery. With its main number series that have been elevated to the premium tier, the Nord here will be competing with the likes of Oppo, Vivo and Xiaomi as these guys are providing some interesting devices in this price bracket. Also many customers were asking OnePlus for an affordable OnePlus device and here we are with the OnePlus Nord. Now OnePlus is known for offering the latest SoCs in its smartphone and this time with Nord, it has gone with the next best thing possible to target the mid-tier segment. The Nord packs in 5G ready Snapdragon 765G Octa-Core chipset that was launched by Snapdragon in the December of 2019 and has been seen in devices like a Vivo X50 Pro 5G. Now OnePlus Nord comes in three different variants, starting from the top which has 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage that comes at the price of Rs 29,999. The mid variant which has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage comes at Rs 27,999 and there is an India exclusive variant which is priced at Rs 24,999 comes at 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Now the device comes with a whopping 4115 mAh lithium polymer non-removable battery which supports Rapcharge 30T fast charging which charges 70% of device in just half an hour. Now this feature is available in the flagship devices of OnePlus and it is also available in this budget sort of smartphone which is fantastic. It also includes some other features like NFC, dual SIM support and Wi-Fi AC with 2x2 Nemo bands. The device also features an in-display fingerprint scanner like we have seen in the previous OnePlus devices and it works flawlessly. Now coming to the cameras, the back houses 4 cameras, the main is the 48 megapixel shooter having 6 element lens with aperture of f1.8. Uh, comes with face detection, autofocus and optical image stabilization. The secondary is an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera having field of view of 119 degrees with aperture of f2.4. The depth sensor is a 5 megapixel depth sensor and the macro shooter is a 2 megapixel macro shooter having aperture of both having aperture of f2.4. The front also houses two cameras, one is a 32 megapixel shooter with f2.5 aperture and another is an 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter having the same 2.5 aperture but with an ultra wide 105 degree field of view. Now OnePlus says that you will ditch your selfie stick for this ultra wide field of view but uh, let's see when it comes. Now the main camera on the back shoots video up to 4K 30fps and slow-mo video up to 1080p to 40fps. And interestingly the front camera shoot video up to 4K 60fps. Now that is interesting because the 8 series can shoot up to 1080p and its rear camera can shoot up to 4K 30fps and this one here can shoot up to 60fps which is sort of strange but it is good. Now the display here is a 1080p fluid AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate and you can switch it to 60Hz if you want to save some battery on it. Now being an AMOLED display means you will get deeper blacks and more rich and vibrant colors which is fantastic for this device in this budget. Now the OnePlus Nord will come with Android 10 and Oxygen OS 10.0 out of the box which is fantastic and it being a OnePlus device you need not to worry about for Android updates for a couple of years. Now the pre-booking for the device is on and if you're interested or if you're willing to upgrade a smartphone, you can pre-book one and OnePlus will start the shipment from 4th of August. Now we will try to get our hands on the device once it comes out to the market, but till then we have to wait. There is no other option we have to wait, unfortunately. But by the time we are going to make some awesome content here on this channel, so you have to hit the subscribe button for that so that you can enjoy our content and do the like button if you like this video. Click the bell icon, you know why. You know why. Till then, this is Ayush signing off. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.